Nice. Nice steel. Heavy. Perfect spot for it, Paul. Perfect. <coughs> I don't know what we need to do about this, Paul. It needs to be burnt. Yeah. Set it on fire. Yeah, I agree with you. Can't sit inside here? No. <laughs> you don't know. Hmm. It needs to be burned. Back Watch the language, it's family town. Oh. I'm recording. Imagine they'll still give me a lead price for that. Oh yeah. Never done. Lead price in a battery ain't much though. Well, it's still got full of lead. It still weighs the same. It was full of water, too. Oh, yeah? Well, the whole top's open. I just got it all open. Mm -hmm. All in my pants. Look, that splashed out. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> huh? No, I just dropped it in the truck and it splashed out. Water. I didn't turn it up. I need to get a knife. A hammer. We got a hammer too? Should be one in there. Should be one in the back seat. Back seat. So See what we got. Oh, can't. Huh? Somewhat of a boy. Yeah? Yeah. I might get most of that material off of there. Oh yeah. That's a nice blade. Wore you out, Paul? Already? Paul is beat up today. He beat up yesterday. Paul ain't, ain't worth much. No, not anymore. Paul ain't worth much. Unless you catch him on a good day. Yeah. And then I'm worth something. That ain't worth a lot. I just, I just bring him with me to have somebody to talk to. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah, every time I walk in front of the damn truck, Paul hits that freaking horn if he's inside. I got it, dude. Makes me want to kick him in right in the ass. I want it. I got it, dude. <laughs> Scares the freaking bejesus out of me every time. I got it. And he thinks it's funny. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't that funny, Paul? Oh, funny to me. I don't know why he do that to me. I should already know better, and yeah, I right. don't. Damn it. Still walking from the damn truck. I didn't need to. Eat. All right. Beautiful. Oh, another one. Oh, fingers caught. Oh, fingers caught. I was stuck, Paul. I can pull you over. This uh, I watched a scrapper. He brings these things in the garage and takes, knocks the ends off the rail. He does the whole deal. Yeah. To bring it in for clean steel. Yeah. Because anytime there's material added to it. Yeah, that's still room. Hmm? That's room, man. Um, is that room, Paul? I think it is. Let me get my magnet out. No, much. Find out. If it is, we need to throw it over in his pile. Yeah, it don't weigh much. Okay. I got a magnet in my pocket. It shows me like this, room. Lemon? Yeah. That's Lemon, Paul. Oop, throw that in his pile. Let's 
inches. You can have that. Add it. He can take it apart. And everything. All right. All right. Well, we got another one here. This thing here is too hard to take apart. So. Yeah. Yeah. I'm hoping this one just kind of falls apart. Joy, joy! We did it. Oh yeah. Mm. Beautiful thing. Knock off some of that plastic. It'll downgrade you. You know how scrap board is. Too much plastic. Knock as much of that off as I can before you go in. Sir, get off of there. Look at that. I made it smaller. What are you thinking, Paul? I'm trying to figure out how to get that cotton. It's cut of the cuts. Man, it's a lot of cotton. I'm going to cage it here. Oh, okay. I need to put that there. Yeah. It's got a lot of pine straw in there. It's got a lot of pine straw in there. Oh, yeah. Deal. Aluminums, aluminums. He wants the aluminum. I can take the steel. He's just wanting to get his area cleaned up so he can stack up some more stuff. Oh, yeah. Aluminum. Plastic. Oh yeah. Ooh. Got some room up front. <clears throat> Still got a little room up front, though. Okay. Okay, so not over there. Done with that. Plastic rims. Aluminum pot. Nope. Not Mary pot, but aluminum pot. Oh man, this thing's still heavy. For some reason. Stuck to the ground. Yeah. Okay, so let's see this here. Got some steel back here. I don't know what that is. I didn't ask him about it. What we got over here? This has to be taken apart more. I don't have, I don't have the. Let's see, let's just weld it on there. That's aluminum. Well, he wants all of his aluminum. I was just wondering what was going to be under it. Concrete on it, huh? Yeah. A few bolts. You want to uh, get this stuff next? I guess. I'm surprised it's even letting me take it. But he said take it. Make you nickel. Huh? Make you nickel. Me? Yeah. It's got that big motor inside of it. Oh. That's a big okay. motor. That's a no, she's junk. But 
I keep these for this winter when I start taking apart motors. Yeah. That's a big motor in that bum. A lot of copper. <coughs> I'll throw it in the back of the truck. Or, you know what? We just throw it over there for what it's worth. To be honest with you. You know what I mean? With the rest of them. And then just take these. Yeah, let's, let's grab that and put it over there, Paul. What? Yeah. Generator? Yeah. It's only one generator. I have to stop at the house, drop it off. Yeah, but I'll get that by the house anyway. I do? Oh, yeah. Don't matter. Let's get rid of it. He said he wanted to keep generators for the most part. It was just sitting there. Yeah. Let him have it. Yeah, yeah, lots of fenders and hoods. We got some room. Beautiful. Motor upside down. It still runs. Tough. Oh, look at that. It still runs. Mm -hmm. Wow, check that out, guys. So that's a mulching machine. There's gas coming out of it, matter of fact, Paul. Yeah. That's a mulching machine with. What kind of motor is that? I don't even know. Techniques engines. I mean, wait a minute. Tac Tacomas T E C U M. S-E-H maybe, I don't know, engines. But it's upside down. It's full of water, don't matter, It's full of water, not, not uh, that's it's water leaking out, not gas. I don't think you can run just any engine upside down. It's gotta be made specially. Who, somebody tell me, uh, this is the first time I've seen an engine that was upside down. I mean, the pull cord's literally down here at the bottom. Looks upside down to me. It is upside down. <laughs> I mean, it looks like a lawnmower motor upside down. Yeah. So, has anybody seen this before? And can you run a lawnmower upside down? Oh my word. It has something. Unreal, are you kidding me? Oh my word. And you've been on road, that my folks don't. Oh my word, yeah, you can't stop that thing. No. Oh, I would hate that. Yeah. Oh. It's cause I'm a, oh my word! Last time somebody got it, you know. Well, of course, of course. That's that's scary, Paul. I hate to hear that. Thank you. He was on that side. He can't reach the pedal. Yeah, cause I'm cut off switch on it. That would be really bad, yeah. Paul. Maybe. I guess we're gonna set that right there, Paul. Yeah. yeah. And uh, I don't see anything else, do you? Nope. I think we got it. Yeah, let's go shoot and set your house. Mm-hmm. This one don't turn, so I'm gonna set that side down and go here. Let's turn on the side. I think we'll close the doors like that. Yeah, we'll get it. Lift that one up there, we'll get it. It'll work, Paul. We'll make it. Paul, we did it, brother. We did it. Your house get all them and stuff. Yes, let's go load up some. <laughs> there ain't no more room in there. Oh, got in right no, up. I mean that's not moving back. That's no. No. all right. I don't uh, see anything. What we got here? Uh, I guess that's his aluminum, his copper here. Some. Uh, oh, here's a couple pieces right here. Yeah. Than you got here. What's that ball? Yes, sir. He's got a grater, he said. So, yes, sir. I would, huh? Yeah, I would too. I just grater it out to the middle, and that's what I told him earlier. I said, Start a fire, start your fire, huh? 
I cannot cut that strap. I can't even cut that strap off. That's one dull knife. Uh oh, almost missed out on a bucket. Ah, she ain't going nowhere. All right, brother. Back to my yard because we got a load. We have a load of steel. Um, but now we want to bring talking to the talking to the camera. Now we want to bring some of our heavy steel, and heavy steel is rotors for one. So we're gonna separate our rotors from our other steel. Anything that's really heavy. Are they aluminum? No. What's happening is it's steel. It's Chevrolet. Chevrolet? Yeah. All steel, Paul. Yeah. Let me see about this one. That's all aluminum there. Keep that separate. These are all steel bumpers. We're gonna take them. I'll carry something around. Cut that? You said you would. Yeah, where's, we do, where's the sawzall? Do you know? Do we have it in the other truck? I don't know. I think it's in the other truck. Let me go get yeah. that. That's a good spot for it, Paul. That's a good hunting spot. That's a good spot. You blowing? Yeah. <laughs> I'll give you that. I'm blowing over there. You're blowing. Pick it up, eh? No. What's that? Here's some of the pictures that they did. Hmm. He gives me the box, they're worth a lot of money. Yeah, yeah. And to be honest with you, they got the numbers right on them. Yeah, right. The numbers wrote right on them. Yeah. But he'll get more. Seventy-five pounds. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta go in the back of the trailer. No, it's we're not gonna take it that way. Yeah. Huh? Anything else? Save the fucking handle. Use yeah. that for a pot boy. You don't think it's gonna pick this up? Huh? It would be that on on it. Yeah. The rest of it's heavy aluminum. Yeah. I won't take it. Huh? I won't take it. Take it where? I won't take it to the dump. No. I don't want to. 
For now, I'm just gonna throw it out. Not that heavy. Man, no, I'm still more than you. Know. Shut up, Paul. Red day. Heavy steel, though. I got car parts and car hearts and you name it, baby. Beautiful day. In southeast North Carolina. I hope it's a beautiful day. Oh, I missed that one. Uh, where you're at. It's a beautiful day in southeast North Carolina, everybody. I'm just loving life. I hope, I hope you as well are living the dream or your dream, whatever it may be. It's important that you try to try to get there and I try to tell people if you're not happy doing what you're doing, find something else to do. There's, there are so many jobs out there that uh, will make you feel great every day when you go home. You're like, oh man, that was just a beautiful day. So I would say to anybody that didn't have a great day, um, best thing you can do is go find another something else to do because. It's out there for you. You gonna just trap that over here? Yeah. Or are you gonna go back across? Yeah, and tie it back over. Really? Again? Over again? No. Just tie it back over there. I was thinking. That works for me. Excuse me, can I have another? Yeah, right. What's going on there? Uh, first thing you lost to come out in there, I got it right here. What happened? First thing you lost to come out in there, I got it right here. Oh, really? Yeah. He did, right. Yes, sir, baby. Good load we got on here. All right, let's go see what we got, Paul. Let's see where our number's at. What'd you say, a thousand more pounds? 12,800 pounds. 12,800, yeah. yeah, yeah. I didn't guess that. That's where I'm going. 12,980. Uh-uh. <laughs> Seriously? 12,960. Oh, God, you was only up by 160 pounds. Oh, that's a good guess. 
160 pounds. Heavy steel, heavy steel. I don't know if this is heavy steel or not. Is that heavy steel, Jimbo? Jimbo Scrap. He's a scrapper. Go, go check out his channel. Scrap Mayhem. Don't, don't forget them. Yeah, I think I do. That's some pretty cool stuff in here. Even got a battery. And then this. We got it. We got car pots and car hats and Paul. We got him too. We got Paul. Go. Rock and roll. Brand new bricks over there. We get enough bricks over there to do my building. Yeah. Teamwork makes the dream work. Good heavy stuff there. Come on, big boy, you can do it. Oh, almost. Almost. Big time. Get her done, son. Come on, baby. Piece of aluminum right there. Holy moly. This thing is huge. How we doing, Paul? Yeah, you got it. Wow. Wow. All right. How you doing, Brian? Good. Good, buddy. 